guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new training series i'm excited about this one it's time to start training for the royal parks half marathon which will take place in london on the 9th of october training for this race has officially started this week and in this video i want to talk about the race my training approach what I'm doing differently this time and we'll cover week one of half marathon training in terms of the runs I've done oh and there will be also a little bump on the road later on this training block which I probably need to talk about so the Royal Parks half marathon well gives it away in the name it's a half marathon in London that takes you through some of the royal parks and some of the most stunning places in london so yeah i'm quite looking forward to it just for the route i think that's going to be really nice in order to get a place you need to enter the ballot or run with a charity so i entered the ballot which i'm pretty sure was at the end of last year and i got confirmation that i had an entry I think it was in february so I've had this race in my calendar for a while. The main thing I'm doing differently for this half marathon compared to the previous ones I trained for is that this time around, someone is in charge of my training as in personalized training. What I did last year when I trained for my first two half marathons is I bought a plan from Ben Parks, who's a famous runner and youtuber here in the uk this plan was tailored to the goal i wanted to achieve but it was generic because it was just a pdf that i bought and so far this year i've still been using the running plans that i bought last year as a rough guide but i've been kind of like moving away from following them religiously i was tricking quite a few things here and there but now i have Ben, as in Ben, my fiance, not Ben Parks, coaching me through this half marathon prep. He is in charge of my training program, and I know he will push me the extra mile. So I'm quite excited to see how that goes with Ben in charge of my training plan. As I mentioned earlier in this video, there will be one bump on the road um, in this training block, at least one that I already know about and I can try to plan the training around it. I need to have a mole removed on my stomach area and I've been warned that at least it's going to be a full week with no training whatsoever, essentially up to two weeks depending on how it goes with the stitches. The thing is because it's on my stomach area and when you run you're kind of like moving your torso, Running is going to be a no-go for probably a good 10 days and maybe two full weeks. Now, of course, um, it's not ideal at all. There's never a good time to have more removed. But on the scale of all the things that could happen health-wise, I'm quite grateful that it's just a mold that needs to be removed, mainly for peace of mind. And yeah, it shouldn't be a bigger issue than that. But it does mean that it's going to impact this half marathon training well quite a lot and it's why I actually started training a week earlier than I originally planned so that gives me four and a half almost five weeks of solid training before I need to be out of action and it's also why I don't have a goal time yet because well I'm not too sure how things are gonna go after taking a break for most likely two weeks um, so maybe I'll set a goal time you know at the end of September once I know where I'm at or maybe I'll just go into this race with the intention of doing my best and then we'll see how my best looks on the day. But it doesn't matter, I'm still really excited to train for it and to take you along on this training journey. It is now Sunday morning and I've just started my final run of the week. So let's see how week one has gone so far. Right, so Monday started with a heel session. When I tell you that Ben is going to push me the extra mile and he's really going to challenge me well, he literally started me off on a hill session. On Monday I did about 3k easy running slash warm up to get to the hill and then it was 8 times 
one minute running uphill and then about one minute 15 kind of like recovery jog getting back down I was very surprised when Ben told me to focus more on the form than the pace but I would have expected my pace to get slower and slower rep on rep because running uphill is not my forte but somehow my first rep was actually my slowest one my last two reps were the fastest ones so yeah very surprised but quite happy with that so including the cool down and everything that was about 9k running for monday then tuesday i just did an easy 8k with some strides i never recall my strides i don't know about you guys but i do my run stop the watch and then i do my strides so i actually don't have them on record and tuesday i also went to the gym wednesday was the no running day i went to the gym and i also went to the pool for a swim um thursday back running easy 8k also managed to squeeze in a gym session so i'm very pleased with three gym workouts so far this week maybe four if i go later today and friday just an easy 6k with some strides and then saturday yesterday you will have seen in the previous video was another 5k PB attempt unfortunately not quite what i wanted but still a decent trend i guess and including the warm-up and the cool down that was almost 9k and today well final run a longest run of the week it's a 16k run and actually a bit of progression so i kind of need to keep an eye on my watch which is not easy when you're filming as well so basically 3k very easy about 550 minutes per k pace and then every 2k i'm basically going a bit faster up until getting to five minutes per k pace and then i've got two or three k yes three k warm down going slower again to finish off so that's the plan today progression run done that's the final run of the week the first 3k were meant to be very easy warm-up super easy peasy ben said no faster than 5 minutes 50 per k um the first k i took it mega easy and then i started filming and then i wasn't looking at my watch and then i went uh, a little too fast <laughs> and then basically the rest of the splits i was either a little bit too fast or a little bit too slow i was never really you know like bang on for none of them um so for the kilometer four and five i was meant to be doing 540 pace and then six and seven was 530 pace eight and nine was 520 10 and 11 was 510 and then the worst i've done is 12 and 13 i was meant to be doing five minutes flat no faster than five minutes flat and then here i am 448 and 456 and then 14, 15, 16 was meant to be easy peasy, cool down. So again, back around 5.45, 5.50. And uh, yeah, I was a little too fast. But uh, I've always found that progression run, they really take practice. Also, one thing I should have done, I should have brought water because at some point I was really thirsty. It's still quite warm. Obviously, the heat wave is behind us, but it's still very warm. But to be honest, I just couldn't be bothered with taking a hydration vest with me. And it was only 16k, so I knew I was only out for an hour and a half max. But it's probably the last time I can get away with it, um, as long as it's summertime and it's quite warm. Because the long runs are going to get longer and longer. I think next week I have 18k, so I'll probably need to take the hydration vest with some electrolytes with me. So the week is now finished and that puts me on just shy of 56k for week one of half marathon training. I'm also really glad to have managed a fourth gym session today. So overall for week one, not too bad. 
I'm really curious to see what Ben has in store for me for week two. Uh, but for now, that's it for week one training update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you came across this video because you're training for the Royal Parks Half Marathon, let me know. Um, I hope everyone's training is going well. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!